G'day, Josh here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a pretty annoying problem. This is specific to iPhone users. If you have a reasonably new iPhone, so an iPhone 10, 10s, 10R, 11, or an 11 Pro in any of the screen sizes, you know that you no longer have a physical home button, and that means that when you're in game, the home uh, bar, you can see me wiggling it at the bottom there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But that home uh, bar across the bottom there is active in game. And that also means that the uh, control panel and notification center can also be activated in game. And if you're like me, if you're someone that uses a uh, four finger claw setup in shooting games like this one, Call of Duty Mobile, where I have, uh, actually I'll bring up the, uh, the controls so you can see. You can see the button on the top left there if I increase the opacity. Also a button, a couple of buttons on the top right there that actually have my fingers very close to the top of the screen. And sometimes during a game that happens and all of a sudden you're dead because you didn't have time to get shots off or pause the game, you're out of the game, whatever it is sometimes can be very, very frustrating. Not intentional, of course, but it can happen. So what I'm going to do is show you how to fix that problem in iOS. Now, what you need to do is you need to go into your settings. So we're going to, oh, we're going to go out of here. There it is. We're going to go into settings and we're going to go down to accessibility. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on guided access. It's right near the bottom under the general section there, you can see that I currently have it on, but by default that would be off. So you're gonna go and flick that toggle to on, and then you're gonna go through each of the settings. You're gonna set a passcode. If you have a phone with Face ID, you'll obviously enable that as well. Now any of the, uh, the 10 or the 11s will have that. So turn on Face ID, and that allows you to actually exit guided access without having to put a passcode in every time. But even if you're using Face ID, make sure to still set a passcode so that you don't have to set one every time you start guided access. That will prevent that from happening. Uh, you're also going to uh, ignore the time limits there. I don't do anything at all there. And you don't have to worry about an accessibility shortcut either. You're just going to be using the regular triple click of the power button on the side and then turn display auto lock to never. I don't think that'll be an issue because you're actually in a game uh, using the screen the entire time. But just in case, make sure that is set to never. And that is as simple as it gets. Well, that is as complex as it gets. You don't have to do anything other than that. You are set up, ready to go. So now if we go back to Call of Duty Mobile, what you do, and you won't be able to see me doing this, but you triple click the power button, and now you get that guided access started. Now, the very first time that you do it, you won't see that. You'll actually see this screen shrinks a little bit, and it comes up with some other settings. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff. All you need to do is hit done or OK or whatever the, uh, the confirmation prompt is there, and it will only ever do that on the very first time. Now, not only is the home bar gone, no matter how much I uh, swipe up and down, I'm trying to swipe up and down on the top of the screen now, swipe from the bottom, you will not be able to exit this app. You won't be able to bring up the, uh, the home bar. You won't be able to bring up the control panel or the notification center. And as a bonus, notifications won't actually appear on the screen. So you'll have nothing on the screen other than your game. Even if you're dragging your, your finger from the outside of the phone to the inside, nothing will appear. There is no way to do it. And when you're done, all you need to do is double click the home button and face ID detects that you are uh, the person that set up the guided access and it will end guided access. Incredibly simple. So it really doesn't require, once you've got the setup done and the setup wasn't complex, it doesn't require much at all. Triple click to start, double click to end, that is it. And you never have to worry about accidentally opening the control panel or the notification center in the middle of a game again. Let me know if it's been an issue that you've experienced and uh, whether this is going to fix it for you. It's been an absolute, absolute lifesaver for me. So I'm certainly appreciative of being able to do this in iOS. It's not necessarily the simplest thing to figure out, but once it's been explained to you, it's actually really, really straightforward. So thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like this sort of content and if you're into mobile gaming, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content.